Thank you, Aulin Zhao, ITU Secretary General, uh, Sir Nick Gleg, Gleg uh, Kevin Martin, Facebook, fellow commissioners, NETA 4, Executive Director of UNICEF, and other special guests, uh, distinguished uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it is a pleasure to join you uh, once again to advance the critical work of this commission. I want to thank uh, gracious hosts, uh, Facebook, for providing us with such a conducive working environment for our meeting. Sir Nick and Kevin, on behalf of all of us, uh, thank you and uh, the wider family of Facebook. We, we want to thank you. Today's uh, sessions go straight to the heart of our priorities as the Broadband Commission. Let me highlight in particular uh, the issue of uh, uh, harmful content that has just been mentioned. We will hear an important report from the working group on child safety online. We will also consider the creation of a new working group led by UNESCO focused on hate speech and uh, uh, disinformation. Large-scale violence uh, is always uh, preceded by a process of uh, dehumanization through the spread of ideas that justify killing. I think that's why this stands out for mention and uh, so that we uh, see how to, to manage that. We had a situation like this uh, in my own country 25 years ago. Uh, that is uh, why we work to ensure that ideologies uh, of hatred and division have no place in our public domain. There was no internet in Rwanda in 1994. Radicalization is therefore not a new phenomenon, much less a byproduct of modern uh, social media. But while the challenges of today are not qualitatively different, uh, technology has indeed changed uh, the landscape in two important ways. The first is speed. The internet is an accelerant. It costs very little to reach uh, a lot of uh, people very quickly. The second is the absence of accountability. Individuals who cause harm can do so anonymously. It should properly be regarded as a form of cyber uh, crime. We do not need special rules uh, and regulations for the virtual world, nor is there any valid reason uh, to constrain basic freedoms or limit access to broadband. That would only slow development and further deepen inequalities. We simply need the means to enforce our laws and hold individuals accountable for what they do online just as we do offline. Access and infrastructure go hand in hand. Today, we will also hear an update on the digital moonshot for Africa and other infrastructure initiatives. 
as we move uh, forward uh, toward the goal of universal access to broadband by 2030. Allow me to close uh, by commending the excellent work that has been done to prepare for this meeting and uh, more generally. Everything depends on uh, the dedication of our commissioners and the professional staff that uh, supports uh, our work. Uh, thank you very much and uh, we, we are here to join uh, Facebook uh, once again uh, to welcome you and thank you for your attention. I look forward to our discussion today. Thank you very much.